Good afternoon everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Thursday the 21st of July 2022 and tonight it is the game that the early parts of this season have been building up to. It is Motherwell versus Sligo Rovers in the second qualifying fine round of the UEFA Europa Conference League. So uh, yeah, really excited for this, uh, really glad to be getting back to Fir Park and for the first time on the channel uh, bringing you a game from a European competition. So without further ado, let's get up to Lanarkshire, up the well. So I'm just at Bells Hill at the minute and waiting for my final train onwards to Motherwell. Um, but anyway, uh, Motherwell of course finished fifth in the Scottish Premiership last season, which of course meant uh, qualification into the qualifying rounds for this competition. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Sligo Rovers obviously play in the League of Ireland, which as you probably know if you're watching this, is a league that runs through the summer and they are currently fifth in that table. and. Uh, to get to this round, they had to overcome a two-legged tie against Barla, Barla Town from Wales. Uh, they beat them 2-1, I believe, in the first leg away from home, but then lost the second leg at home 1-0 before um, eventually going through on penalties. Um, of course, this is the first leg, so uh, from a Motherwell point of view tonight, I'd, uh, a bit, like, I'd be quite happy just to get a couple of goals lead to take into to take to Ireland next week. Um, I mean, think about next week. Well, go if that's the case, and well, go one 0 up in in Sligo next week. Then it's good night's week, out, isn't it? But uh, but yeah, um, I'm sure Sligo will want to come to Fair Park and uh, make make a make a pretty good impression. So uh, we've got to be careful tonight. Can't underestimate them by any means at all. So. Uh, but yeah, I really am looking forward to it. Uh, like, I think I've told my story about how I got into following Motherwell, haven't I? Um, obviously, since then, this is the first time uh, I've played in European competition with fans' presence. So, uh, so understandably, absolutely buzzing for it. Really excited. Uh, sounds like it's going to be a great atmosphere and things like that. So yeah, uh, I'll see you a bit later on at Fair Park. <laughs> So as soon as we're warming up, uh, Motherwell uh, just getting ready on here and Sligo away in the corner over there. Come 
Even for calamity season, this is ridiculous. Um, before they scored, like they had two absolute sitters, so uh, just maybe been self-inflicted damage. I mean, the goal, uh, the Gabby's tried to head it back, and uh, the keepers, like the, the players, just flew through, put it over. Uh, Liam Kelly has gone in the back of that, quite similar to the one that Heaven scored the other night against Gates. Um, yeah, uh, just really. Doesn't look like it's going to be my year, does it? We're only a few weeks in. Um, anyway, Motherwell have had a lot of chances, just so, so wasteful. Uh, is, will there be a change in the second half? Maybe bring someone on to add a bit more, a bit more pace than that, because there is more chances in this game for Motherwell. It's just a case of getting, getting a goal and turning it around, because uh, best case scenario now is just to have the lead to take to. Sligo, but um, so far it's not looking as though that might happen. But anyway, we'll see how stuff Sligo Rovers won. That was horrible. Like, honestly, it really was horrible. Um, I mean, the atmosphere just got more and more toxic as it went on. Um, and do you know what hurts me more than anything about this is um, it's just the sheer fact that Sligo wanted it more. I mean, uh, it's a European game. Like, Motherwell fans have waited like all summer for this, and yet that is what's produced um it wasn't acceptable and uh i think it has to boil down to the manager i mean obviously it's not his fault that that the, that the goal came about the way it did um he's not obviously responsible for 
individuals making errors, but it is his job to pick the team and uh, to motivate them. And uh, they didn't team up for it tonight. And uh, Sligo came with that clear attitude of uh, on the dogs, but nothing to lose. And uh, what you know, what it was like I just felt around the place like there was a bit of an overconfidence before the game. Like, and I was one or two talking about booking the flights to. Prague for the next round and stuff like that and uh, and yeah and honestly like based on what I've seen there tonight I have no faith look no confidence in Motherwell to turn that round in Ireland next week uh, obviously the winners of the tie will face either Sparta Prague or the uh, Viking uh, Stravania whatever they're called from Norway um, but at the minute that clearly looks like it's going to be Sligo and uh, one other thing uh, like obviously the, there was the incident towards the end of the game someone threw like stuff being bottles and stuff being thrown on the pitch just like we're all angry and everyone had a right to be annoyed at what they'd seen there tonight but um, there is a line that can't be crossed and now we're uh, all it's going to bring to the club, especially when it being in a UF competition, is a fine and possibly even even more sanctions. Um, so why would you do that? Plus, like that fan, that fan is probably going to get a pretty is probably going to get going to get himself banned and stuff like that. Like it's just why do it? Like that's a question that's got to be asked. Just an overall grim night and it was just compounded and uh, fans arguing amongst themselves and things like that I mean uh, don't get me wrong everyone there has every right to be annoyed at that tonight because uh, yeah it was it was a disgraceful performance and I'm honestly really really angry about it like I mean I'm not trying to I'd never make anything about myself but and uh, paid good money to uh, get a train up and uh, to throw a match ticket. I'm just lucky that my friend has been good enough to put me up for the night. Um, but but yeah, it's uh, it, was, it just felt like a real punch in the stomach to be honest with you. Like cause I've been looking forward to this for ages, and uh, that's what the end result was. I'm just yeah, just gutted, angry, um, but in a way like you could see from the early stages that it was coming and uh, just had absolutely no idea where the goal from what actually was gonna gonna come from but anyway there's that for this video and i'll be back on saturday with gateshead versus harrogate town and uh honestly like the way this season started for me like it's got to a point where i'm not even looking forward to games but uh we'll have to see how it goes really won't we but until then take care and i'll see you later